Instructor Development Certification Evaluation Process Flowchart, Jesse Harris, EDUC 639, Liberty University. Purpose, to provide standardization to all elements of the Learning Center, Instructor Initial Certification, Topic Qualification, and Periodic Evaluation Processes, and follow-on in-service professional development training. The instructor development process will be made up of four phases. And these phases will start when the instructor report on board to the training facility. And once reporting on board, the instructor development plan will be devised. This development plan will consist of the instructor certification plan, the process the instructor must go through to be certified to teach in the Navy schoolhouses. And once the instructor is certified, there's an evaluation plan to where constant evaluation of the instructor and his processes are observed and in-service training and professional development plan. The in-service training will cover items as motivation, communication, and classroom functions, along with the professional development plan of new training methods, new processes, and technology. Instructor certification. The instructor certification process consists of four steps. First step is observation of the course as it is being taught by a subject matter expert. Second step, to personalize the lesson plan of the course that the instructor will be training. Third step, perform two satisfactory practice teachers that are observed and evaluated by peers. And the fourth step is the graded certification teach with students. If it's a satisfactory teach, the instructor will receive their initial instructor certification process, instructor certification certificate, and he'll be green boarded. If it's a non-satisfactory teach, the instructor will start the process all over again, initially practicing and having another graded certification teach with students. The instructor evaluation process will consist of a semi-annual evaluation and an annual evaluation. The semi-annual evaluation will be for all instructors with the exception of the master training specialist instructors. Annual evaluations will consist of an evaluation of all certified instructors. Professional development process. The professional development process will consist of peer coaching, which is a confidential process, volunteer, through which two or more professional colleagues work together to reflect on current practices, expand it, refine, and build new skills, share ideas, teach one another, and conduct classroom research or solve problems in the workspace. Mentoring is a wise and trusted counselor or teacher, an influential senior sponsor or supervisor that will mentor to younger and junior personnel. Collaboration, it's about taking direct steps to create a culture of collaboration and innovation within the classroom or the workplace. And these processes will be conducted on a continuous basis. They will be continued to be monitored and repeated throughout the instructor's duration at the training facility. This slide is an overall picture of what the flow process would look like for the instructor qualification, evaluation, and certification process.